Hey YouTube. Hey Fancy Dolls. Um, I pretty much wanted to let everyone know how I clean my eyebrows. Um, what you want to start off with is a clean face in which I've cleaned my face and did I put lotion on there today? No, I didn't. Um, so you want to get your aloe vera gel and you want to have your little razor now. I normally go get my eyebrows threaded, but in between time, when I want to keep them clear um, and clean myself, this is how I maintain them. Some scissors. Then you want to have a little spoolie. And I think that's pretty much it. So what you want to do is go ahead and put the aloe vera gel on your eyebrows. Make sure you put a little bit outside of it. And this is basically how I maintained maintain my eyebrows. In between time, ooh, this aloe vera gel is tingly, but just feels weird. So what you want to do is, oh, and everyone, don't pay attention to my hair. Haven't done anything with it this morning. It looks a little crazy, a little dry. I've been cutting pieces of it. And I cut some of it. Up. I cut the sides down yesterday, so it won't seem so round on the sides. I'm trying to get more height to the top. But you want to go ahead and kind of, like I guess, pull your forehead back a little bit. And you just want to pull down. So you can either rinse it off before you get to the next part or you can just wipe it off me to save time I'm just gonna wipe it off because I have my iPad mini sitting on top of the faucet and that'd be just too much rearranging move it down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, so I'm basically just dragging it down and I'm cleaning it. Oh, and yeah, to prep your scissors and to prep your razor, you want to wash them off, and then you also want to clean them with peroxide. I clean my with peroxide to make sure that they're as clean as possible. So yeah, right now and on. And then this is what I pretty much do to anyone's eyebrows. If I need to clean them up or if they ask me to clean them up before I do their makeup. So, remember for your guide, if you want to, you know, people have different eyebrows and some people do and do not go by the guide of how your eyebrows are supposed to be as far as where your arch is supposed to be placed. It's so hard to get your eyebrows back to grow back in in certain places so this would take practice if you mess up on anything your best bet is to get you some Anastasia dip brow and fill it back in until you get it together okay so, you just want to make sure that everything is 
pretty much even and clean. Sorry, y'all, I have to get a little closer and see because I don't have my glasses on. Make sure you get those little hairs. Sometimes it's hairs all the way down on your eyelid. And that little hair right there seems to not want to go away. So, I might have to bring out my, my tweezers. Of course, got to go with the tweezer man tweezers. Of course, you want to make sure they're clean. And there's this one right here that I'm trying to get. Because I don't want to mess up my eyebrows. I don't want to get too close. Okay. So, you know, sometimes your eyebrows seem, seems a little bit bushy. And it may be because your eyebrows may be clean, but the hairs that's on your eyebrows may be too long. So what you want to do is take your little spoolie. And you want to pretty much... Well, I did this the other day, but I'm still going to do it to show you. You pull it up. There's any extra long brows, and then you just run it across. Trust me, it makes a difference. And then you also want to brush them downward too. And I do have like the little comb that comes with the double sided. So, and then once you're done, you can just kind of brush them out properly. Let me do this side because I think this side, when I did it the other day. Um, I didn't have my short scissors with me. I was trying to do it with the long scissors. Not a good idea. Make sure you have some shorter scissors like this and not like this. See the difference? Okay, so I just brushed them down. These little hairs right here. I'm gonna cut them. Mommy. I'm doing something. Okay. And then you just wanna brush them up. Get your little spooling. Make sure. You have to hold it there so that they won't slide back down sometimes they but this is easier to do if you do it with the comb so brush them back out and this arch seems a little lower than this one so my little razor I'm just going to take this in a little bit to make sure it matches that other brow over there Ok, 
okay and this one comes in too much so take it out some okay so that went out and I'm trying to think what I need to do with this one probably need to thin out that tail a little bit more So they say that your eyebrows are supposed to remain the same thickness from here to here. And then as it goes out, it's supposed to get thinner. Oh, with your natural brow, you may not want this to look for an everyday look. So I try to keep mine just a little bit heavier on the outside. Um, and then if I want it thinner for um, when I go out, uh, make it happen with the the eyebrow um like Anastasia dip brow or whatever I use it just really all depends with me I like to use different things at different times but excuse me I have to get this because this isn't it's probably not a good idea for me to be doing this anyways without my glasses on or contacts. Okay, did I get it to where I needed it to be? Um, make sure you have a little, you get a little bit in the middle too, if you need to. So, kind of want to make sure that goes inward. See how that one goes? This one's probably a little bit further in. That's something you can fix also with your, your brow stuff or... You can just make the other one go in a little bit further. It's totally up to you. So, this is where I'm at with the brows. It's about as good as it's going to get. <sighs> so, fancy dolls, I hope you all... I need to get this camera thing figured out. Um, I hope you all enjoyed my tutorial on how to clean your brows. Um, have a blessed day, and I'm about to start getting ready, so I'm going out with my cousin. Love you, bye.